since MRIs have become so commonplace these days, we're finding out more and more that a condition known as Chiari malformation is really a lot more prevalent than we thought before. It turns out that it's really not a malformation per se, but it's a condition in which the size of the brain and the size of the container of the brain, the skull, are mismatched. Now the brain floats in spinal fluid like if it was inside of a fish tank. And this fluid floats, floats around the brain, it goes down into the spinal cord, through the base of the neck, and as the pressure and dynamics change in the brain, the fluid gets displaced down into the spinal cord, maintaining a steady state pressure in the, in the brain. The Chiari malformation leads to an uncoupling of that so that the fluid from the brain cannot go through the base of the skull into the spine and patients experience severe headaches. It is very common for the patient to have headaches that are severe, that are constant, that are present there, particularly when there is activity involved, when the patient coughs sneezes, bends over, lives, bears down, any of those activities that pushes the pressure up can give terrible headaches. Also associated with a number of other symptoms, numbness in the face, arms, legs, weakness, all kinds of, of symptoms. Uh, I have had a extensive experience over the past almost 20 years treating KRE in a very successful way. In essence, what we do is the patient has to undergo an operation to expand the size of the container. Expand the size of the container to thereby allow the brain to not be so tight, allows the spinal fluid to go into the spinal canal. The operation is done typically in about three hours. The patient is admitted to the hospital, is in hospital perhaps for three or four days but uh, a significant number, upwards of 90 plus percent of the patients experience complete relief of the symptoms. So we're taking this condition in which people have been living with chronic, unrelenting, terrible headaches that affect their day, uh, their activities of daily living to a situation where patients are able to function properly. Chiari also is very commonly seen in the pediatric population and as a pediatric neurosurgeon I take care of quite a large number of these patients on an ongoing basis. They can present from as early as newborns. Uh, most of the time I see them in children anywhere from five to, to teenage years. Uh, the patients present with the symptoms. They have problems going to school. They have problems concentrating. They have problems with memory. Because of the headaches, they miss school quite a bit, so they get behind. And typically, when the patients are operated on, they end up having superb and excellent results. So I would consider an, er, anybody who is suffering with chronic headaches that sort of fit the category that I just explained to you, to perhaps having their, their primary care doctor get an MRI to see if they have a Chiari malformation that can be successfully treated with surgery.